Welcome, welcome. As you can see, I got my new mic. I uh, got my new headset, which feels a lot lighter than the Logitech that I had. Off screen, you probably don't see it, but if you check out my Instagram, I just posted a, a small little video of my two PC stream setup. It's not 100% complete yet, but it's getting there. Let's say it's about 90%. Um, I'm waiting on an, a, a light to be put on exactly right here. Shine light over here while I play in a little bit of a darker room. Um, for some reason, OBS was not working to stream onto YouTube. So I'm going to have to check that out. I tried like five or six times, but if for some reason it kept saying um, that the streaming time has to be in the future, which I don't understand. Like, it's never given me any problems now before. Why is it just popping up with that stupid error? <sighs> All right. So, previously on Red Dead Redemption. Uh... We had a few missions out in out by Saint Denis. Um, one of them was a a bugged boat game, poker game. Uh, one of them was a poker game that we basically robbed the boat from. Had a little shootout. The second one was a. Uh, stealing from the trolley station, which I don't know. <coughs> stealing from the train station. Um, as much money as it has, I don't think it would have a lot of money from the beginning. Maybe a little bit, but not so too, too much. Um, because you got to remember, people are trying to come into the city not leave the city so i don't i never understood that <coughs> uh we do have one mission for mary linton <sighs> i don't know and then we have all oh, right let me go quickly do this thing because it's gonna give me a wolf pelt and with the wolf pelt, I can get the last satchel. So, parkour. Need a ride, Mister? Uh, sure. So, partner, can I get a ride? So, where am I taking you? Oh, you're not going anywhere well, near where I'm. You know I'm going. where to find me. Hello. I don't know who Great Scott is, but thinking of going after them, are you? I wager you're more than up to it. I got no complaints. What's this guy's name? A reward of fifty-five dollars for the capture or killing of Camille de Melmont. I'm guessing it's a little bit of a French name. He's a member of the Lemoyne Raiders, wanted Reckon for stealing state property, crew. crimes against officers of the state, and the murder of a postal mail carrier. How dare you? You know, USPS is only doing their job to deliver mail, and you just, you just straight up murder them. He is French, last seen in the region of Catfish Jacksons. Okay. Try looking for that one out by Catfish Jacksons. And when you get him and his cronies, tell him that we're ah, just railroad workers here. Sorry, I, I don't of have tyranny, anything for you right they now, phrase it, but I'm working on it. Sales. Come back and see me later? Sir, welcome back. Yeah, yeah you talk too much. I need to go to Wallace okay, Station. Safe travels. 
Wallace Station. Oh, and a few other things I needed to do. Let me... Oh, and a few other things I needed to do. I had some of my Twitch reverberate back into my microphone. Um, uh, let's get off before they take off. <sighs> All right, so let me just make sure I'm going the right place. Alright, so I had to bump the graphics down a little bit uh, from 1440p to 1080p. Uh, the reason why is 1440p Ultra was almost maxing out my graphics memory. So I don't care for being tracked, Shut up, man. So... Uh, 1440p Ultra, I was using up almost 8,100 megabytes of memory. And 1080p Ultra, I'm using up about 6 gigabytes. So when I went into first person... When I was going into first person, I had the problem of, uh... What the heck? Hey, get out of Dumb move. Shit! Maybe I got in their heads. God what damn it, it's... The hell. Okay, guys. When you're playing with dynamite... Don't light the fuse so much so that it's going to blow up right there and then. Just a... Uh, just a key. Trick I learned from a long time ago. Where is this guy? If that's coming from there, then it's a westerly, so or is it an easterly? We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't pick up. We're hello again. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you, sir? Uh, Morgan, Mr. Morgan. I'm sorry, my my nerves. I'm not quite the outdoor adventurer I thought. This is God's own country, and I feel I'm in purgatory. I know the feeling. No, I hope not. What you trying to take some pictures of, huh? Some more greedy coyotes? No. Wolves. Wolves? Wolves. Well, you really are trying to get yourself eaten. Oh, I hope not. I left the meat over there. I thought I'd be safe. Given the wind. Yeah, sure. You managed to attract the world's least intelligent wolf. 
Well, I, I... I'll stay with you a while. If anything comes, I'll protect you as needed. You are a gentleman. Now, you don't know me very well. Now, to me, you're a gentleman. You Not... Usually... Yeah, you don't know me very I'm well. worse than the wolves. You had many dealings with wolves, Mr. Morgan? Sure. But you've never been eaten. Not through lack of trying on their part. A while back, I helped a friend from getting devoured. Usually, they are not great fans of man. Don't blame them. Uh -oh. Me neither. Hey, shh, there's one. There's two. Oh, we got company. Yes, yes, there they are. In the trees. Now, don't do anything. I'm going to take a few photographs. Okay. Take those photos Come of the wolves. On. Come on. That wolf looks stupid as hell. You don't need to aim at them. Good boys. Hungry boys. Come on. Stay back. Stay back. Can't have a man in the frame. They think it's staged. Yeah, sort of is. <laughs> Provoked them, Mr. Morgan. Hell, they ain't provoked. Oh, oh, Beast. Futile existence flashed before my eyes. Yeah, they can be pretty aggressive. Oh, what a way to literally a dog's dinner. Still, worse things happen at sea. Do they? <laughs> well, I imagine. Perhaps wolves do better at sea. Are they good swimmers? Well, who knows? You have saved my poor foolish skin once again. Don't mention it. Well, I can't begin to repay my debt of gratitude. But no, I am eternally in your debt. I do, Mr. Mason, I do. You take care now. And you too, sir. I'm gonna go skin those wolves that I just killed. Uh... Oh my god, does... Oh, perfect wolf pelt. Perfect. Of course, it's perfect because I killed those wolves with the bow and arrow. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Playing some Red Dead. Come on, Majesty. Oh, Majesty, you're there. Wait a minute. That's not my horse. Yeah. I put that on your little bum. Mm. Uh. Oh, this lucky son of a bitch got a nice wolf pelt. Working on the mechanism. Good day to you, sir, and Godspeed. Sure, sure. Um. Let's go, Majesty. Don't I need a wolf carcass as well? Um. These are big ass wolves, unless wolves are usually big. 
And then again, I've never seen a wolf in real life before. Not yet. Uh, all right. So that's, uh, I think that was the last, but I need a wolf carcass as well. Gonna get this nice jacket all dirtied up. Ugh. Good haul today, girl. Don't worry about me. Lightning doesn't strike in the same place. I'm not gonna worry about you too much, actually. Set up camp. And fast travel. God damn, I forgot where. What is it? Shady Bell? Shady Bell. Not say it enough. The scenery looks outstanding. I mean, those mountains. This was the um, burnt out village or town. Why are these guys still here? Get down and cover now. Hello again, stranger. What a surprise. Uh. Keep moving, Arthur. Keep moving, Arthur. <laughs> All right. There we go with my wolf pelt. Yeah. Are they going to tell me don't bring... Don't bring any horses inside camp? You going to freeze in that, Arthur? Shut up. Evening, Mr. Morgan. My table awaits your offerings, Arthur, Mr. Morgan. Come up here. Uh, oh yes, I'll be able to make you something out of this. And yeah, you better. Morgan, I, need to get I can always make you a new satchel if you're tight on space. Yes. Looks great, How are Pierce. You doing? Wasn't there something about a wolf? Oh, I already had the wolf. I need moose antlers. That's gonna be a bitch to find. Other than that... I think I got everything else. Cougars are gonna be... Uh, cougars are gonna be hard to find. I'll need you to go find me the right materials before I can make that. Maybe not, you know. That be toasted enough. Uh, Arthur, come up here. Shut up, Dutch. Um. Ooh, Lenny has a mission. Definitely gonna do that. There's a bounty hunter over there. Um, I have to steal some moonshine over here. I still don't want to do Mary Linton's mission because, you know, she didn't care nothing about me. Uh... Lenny, let's go steal a... Let's go steal a coach. Where are you, Lenny? Evening. Evening, Tilly. Oh, I should. You okay? Yes. Just thinking about Karen. 
Guess uh, he was always living on borrowed time. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, Arthur. I kind of miss Kieran. He was a good kid. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> it's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now, who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had a look, I'm taking half the money. Hey, we we right. always take half Let's the get money. Going, then. It should be on its way right now. It seems like only yesterday you and me were shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll be glad to leave this place behind, if I'm honest. Got a bad feel to it. At least it's got a roof. You've got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even 20 years old. Hmm? Time will come. Follow me. I saw a good... ...fought for an ambush. So who's the feller told you about this? It's a sound lead. I told you. And what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean, did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. I'll trust okay. you. Okay, okay, I do. You I'll trust you more than Michael. Six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellers who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again, right now. Of course. Oh, I need some, uh... I need some... Deadeye juice. Yeah, there we go. And I'm also gonna... Pre-arm myself. I'm looking at the RGB keyboard I have and it looks fantastic in especially in the in the wave theme that it's going in. Oh man. One thing I kind of wish is it's a Razer Huntsman Mini and I got the pudding keycaps from HyperX and you see that big old HyperX symbol right on the space bar kind of wish it was just regular you know but you know certain certain companies have to put their branding on everything okay here we are all right Lenny let's leave the horses off the road to the right here all right herringbone to the right Rocks. Yeah, seems good. Hmm. <laughs> Explosive ammo. It's gonna do a lot of that. You know what? The Let's stage go. should be coming up the river from Catfish Jackson any time now. Actually. Mm. 
I better not be ambushed by a panther. I hear something. Lenny, you see that? There it is. And I don't see no escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait, look, look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh, to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. But you're still alive, so. Don't worry too much about it. Well, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Yep. See you back at camp. I'm just going to quickly rob these guys. Just go. Damn. You know, no witnesses to a crime. on my stupid yep. executioner mask on. Easy now. Yeah, this guy didn't doesn't have a head. Come on. No witnesses. This guy had 69 cents. Very nice. Oh, and a platinum band. Yep. Come on, girl. Yep. All right. So, don't want to do the bounty mission now. What is this? Henry Lemon. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's okay, girl. Just a scratch. Um... Wrong, wrong way. Yep. 
How did everybody enjoy their? Easy. Whoa. <laughs> These guys just set up camp right in the middle of the road. I didn't have to kill them. But you know... No, uh... No criminal activities should be existing while I'm still the sheriff. Or the deputy. Unless they took that right away from me. Plus, Idiot. they don't know that I did it because I have this all psycho mess. How do I look? Oh God, I look yep. ugly. That's how I look. Cycle style. Um, all right, why are they all of a sudden locked? $30 bounty for killing a witness? Come on, that's a little too much, don't you think? I told him to just run away, but he, he didn't want to listen. He wanted to report the crime like the good guy he think he was. Sad thing is, good guys don't always win. Whoa. That's a baby black bear. Uh oh, mama bear's nearby. Mama bear is going to be nearby. This is not good. Actually, was that perfect? Ah, oh, poor. 
I think I read a stupid thing that said if you're ever attacked by a black bear, uh, your defense should be to attack it back. I don't know how much that's going to hold up. Black bear probably has a claw right into your stomach and it, that article wants you to fight back. Alrighty. Am I close? Because Santhony was just south of me. Yeah, I'm close. Fermo. Look out! It is very foggy over here. I can't see yeah. anything in front of me. Come on, girl. Ooh. Riding that fancy carriage right into some shithole part of the county. you home. Yep. That was easy as pa. Jesus, he wanted a hundred gallons of shine. I can't even handle a shot of shine. This guy wants a hundred gallons. That's gonna make a lot of people fall in love. Not in the right way. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think with the money I make, I can make a, uh, a fence reconstruction company. And, uh, probably pay off all those, all those fences I broke. It's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. Can't nope. say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. <laughs> uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh, oh that's too bad. Oh, 
Yes. <laughs> you got my money. <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great deal. All deed. I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> creep is excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where mm. is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Sure. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? I guess, yeah. Uh, all right. Ooh, was a few missions just opened up. Mm. None of them story missions, but uh, side missions. Since I'm right there. Excellent, excellent. Oh, this wonderful methanol. <sighs> That's a lot of methanol. <coughs> this guy was sleeping on the ground. Sorry, that's just the way I enter. Hey, buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Hello. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Amen. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies. Um, how do you say? All ass. Mm? Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Are you I the French so. Adolf Hitler? You know, uh... Arthur. Charles. You oh, know Arthur. Charles. Don't believe in art. Mm, it's lies. Believe in women. They are the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art for idiots. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. 
Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. That's very nice of him for giving me a piece of art. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why are you shooting me? You're gonna let me escape, I'm telling you that for a fact. I just lightly tapped the guy. It's a crime. Why am I being chased? Yeah. Be more, girl. Come on. Keep going. God damn.
I lost. I mean, it was a poor belt. Poor black bear pelt, but I lost it. Also lost my hat. God dang it. Ah, you good girl? I ran all the way out of San Denis because I accidentally bumped the policeman. Sir. Let me pay off my bounty. Now, have we? Yeah, we have. Thanks Sir, for your assistance. Morning. Open your eyes, fool. I said, open your eyes, fool. What's it to be? Uh, let's sell. Oh, where's my fur? Can I not sell my fur? Looks like I can't. What? I can carry 99 of these? That's ridiculous. Thanks. Again, mister. Have a look. All for sale, except the floorboards. Now, oh, let me see. Uh, see, this doesn't tell me how much I Last can actually for years. buy. Unnatural, if you ask me. Is it premium cigarettes that gives me the baseball cards? Done. Another? Again? Okay. Sold. Yep. Stocking up. <coughs> you could say something like that. Another? Something else. Jesus Murphy.
You're after. I have 99 cigarettes. Well, that was quick. Whoops, sorry. You know, I'm, I... I got a little angry for throwing away my cigarettes. Open up that. That's not what I wanted to open up. Okay, that's what I wanted to open up. Away from me, huh? Well, let me have a look. Provisions, tobacco. Done. That should be good. Let's try this one more time. Horse, you better not be hidden in nobody for no reason. Yeah, Catfish Jackson unfortunately has a bounty over there, so I'm not yeah. going to risk beating you and then all of a sudden I have to start another mission.
gotta help me. Some fellas broke into our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. You gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack down in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find the law. I'll do what I can. One thing is, I'm not gonna get rid of the brain matter and the, uh, and the blood. Another guardian angel like you. <laughs> I'll just take the predator bait. And the money. Oh, thank you again. You my guardian angel. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. frightened there's alligators they're animals just like you nah you're more than an animal you're my girl
I don't think I've been to this part of Santhony. Out of the damn way. I have. I just haven't taken that route. So welcome to our What's home. Your police issue? I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. What can I do for you? Um, can I ask you something, bro? Can I help you with something? Uh, Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, what? uh... You never seen wants a to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit, but it's gonna cost you a hundred dollars in fees. A hundred dollars. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run, and uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen, but I'll give you a permit. For 50. You lucky I just got $50. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. Hello. All right. Hey, move it. Um, let's just deliver the permit to the professor and then do that Dutch mission. I mean, there were times I fought the law, so I'm not helping the law this time. I fought the law, and the law just got my money, so I guess it won. Speaking of that song... I really want to play a Vietnam War game. For some reason. Ah, hello, friend. Hello, Professor. Professor. Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels, wanted for murder, bigamy, and immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. <coughs> <coughs> I don't think anybody needs to know. Find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. What animal husbandry means. Wow, that is far up there. That is very far up there. That's going to take some time.
What the hell is your problem? Ah. There's no problem, guys. You guys are just slow. I I ran over somebody accidentally. Last way, just going over the railroad track. Might just take that route. How do you do, sir? Ah, oh, come hey. on! Starting to dislike this place. Those guys ambush me, and you guys are harassing me for it. I feel very, very discriminated as the former deputy of. Holy crap! Looking well. Yo, those scabrons ambushed me, and the cops were right behind them. Shh. Now, this I can work with. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. You're welcome. Let's see what this idiot Dutch has in mind. Whoops, what the hell is going on? Hey, Hello, Jack. Arthur. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? 
but deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. <laughs> there ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. It absolutely is a cesspit of a town. leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. As Not you really. Say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. A boat. We're headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. See, Bronte's man ambushed me, and I okay, believe follow me. that should be vital information Arthur should be giving him. Video. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. Dutch, you were saying all that <laughs> in front of three forget, guys. Took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but what? 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 When did you become so small minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go <coughs> our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. This feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah. We need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Anyway, don't be saying that, are. Dutch. Don't Let be saying do that. Talking. Do not be saying Micah has Easy. loyalty.
Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. Look, if you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be lively. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. You call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got All right. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Empty. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunty? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. They now both have close. a big mouth. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Like I said, we need to be lively here. Jesus, we're in chest high water. <coughs> and you said there's gators? I don't know about this, bro. Whoa. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. Yeah, and let's get the hell out of here as soon as possible. That gator is looking at me. Trap stuck in the mud. It happens. Ugh. 
Ooh. Guess Ooh. something didn't want to be caught. My God. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Yeah, why were we going through finding these traps? We couldn't have just gone straight to the business. Hold up. didn't answer his question. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. No, 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 no. Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Keep my eyes open. Why am I going by myself into chest high water infested with gators? I don't trust none of these waves. One of them has an alligator right next to it. What the hell is that? Hello? Hey! Someone there? Hello? Hey! Someone there? Jules? Here! Help! That must be him. All right, I'm gonna help you, but no. Hey, you in the tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A pig. Gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? <laughs> over there. I ran. I... No. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. Um... Which way did he say? I 
I've got the stuff. It's over here. It's stuck. to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. <sighs> Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we clear. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. We'll see any giant monster long before it gets anywhere near you. We got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Christ.
I think he's going. Shit, that is one big old gate. Oh, your boy doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. You're gonna be okay. Just thank your old Uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. We can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet... Yes. You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kinda reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with me. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm garlic at your service does kill infections. You need. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. That was... One of the worst missions I could play. Return to return jewels to the skiff within one minute forty. Uh, he said, Don't look back. What do I do? My dumbass looks back. Let's do this one last mission and then call it a night.
I am so sorry, dog. Look out! So, Dutch, me? what's Tahiti like, anyhow? Arthur, there you are. Come on! Thomas, let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, no, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys gotta prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. <clears throat> well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. One of my best friends was just texting me. Hey, you pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. More Good like a to sister you. to me. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. John, you side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. <clears throat> let's go. Let's go, John. Let's go, John. See those two? Stay out of sight. Have you got John. something creepy about these statues? <laughs> you don't like naked. <laughs>
Son of a bitch! Come on! This is not over yet! Head to the house! Uh, sure. Just give me a little bit to loot these guys. This guy has a knife in his head. Give me a second. Look out! Stop! Hide, you bastards! None of them's gonna have any heads to be identified of. Yeah, these guys just had a lot of money. Someone help me up here! Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Well. I want to take that Mauser. Taking him to Dutch, then? <gasps> A 
think Dodge wants to have a little chat, Mr. Bronte. Big man, we gonna ransom you or what? You're pathetic. Well, I am. Because from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing. You mean nothing. You stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. I possess things that you will never understand. You don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. They are good at smelling filth, huh? So uh, filth has got to be disposed of. Uh, Our uh, friends, the uh, Pinkertons, are going to come and rescue you, you uh, repulsive little maggot. Uh, oh, uh, 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 call them now. You call them. Jesus! Part of your philosophy books cover feeding the fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. Dutch going a little psycho over here. Does he need the psycho mask? Uh, get 20 headshots. 
I don't think 20 of those bodies had any heads. Uh, search every room in Bronte's mansion. Carry Bronte to the skiff within one minute. Yeah, I should have gotten that 20 headshots because some of those bodies didn't have heads. Aren't you cold dressed in just that? I am not, Tilly. So let's see what we got for tomorrow. There's another Dutch mission. My bounty in Santony is very high. Uh, we got a mission up here, but I don't know if we're going to be <coughs> able to do that. And we also got bounty hunting over here. All right, so that's going to be the end of tonight's stream. Uh, just testing out my microphone tonight, uh, as well as my other equipment that I got, but, um, my whole stream setup is looking very nice. Uh, thank you for watching. Please follow if you if you're watching. Um, I also have a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to be uploading the video to there as well. And... I appreciate everybody. Um, keep surviving during this moment. And thank you. Good night.